All right, this is our last video. We are in the airport at Toronto, and we are getting ready to take our flight to D.C. So hopefully we'll be home in about two hours or so. So, I just thought we'd make one last video and recap all of the crazy highlights because I don't think you understand the craziness that we experienced over there. Like, we met the weirdest, creepiest, most creepy dee 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 -dee people. <laughs> so, who would number one go to? Would it go? The hot dog? Okay. So, our first night in Delphi, we were in a hotel that had like a bunch of shops around it. And we went to the store literally across the street. And a guy there, who did he start talking to first? Was it you, Alexis? He started talking to somebody and oh, they like yeah, walked away. Yeah. I was at, like, this stuff and I was like, they have these everywhere. Yeah, it was like penises. I don't know what their infatuation with penises are. So, Alexis left while he was talking to her, which left him to talk to me. And he was like, what do you call these in your, in your language? And I was like, kind of weirded out. I didn't want to say penis because that just sounded really dirty. So I said, um, we call them hot dogs. So the guy was like, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog. And he just kept saying hot dog. And it was freaking me out. I was like, I'd rather hear penis. So then, I was like, we call it a penis. And he was like, penis, 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 penis. And the whole time he was just sitting there singing this penis song. Oh, sorry, we just heard we have another delay by like 35 minutes. Anyways, so he's going around singing this song, penis, penis, penis. So then that's when I start to walk away slowly, and I left him talking to her. <laughs> so what did he say to you? He was like, how old are you? And I'm like, uh, 16. So then he's like, when I was 16, I had a penis this long. I take it, and I go, Psh, and I be behind my back. Whoa. He said his penis was long and he took it out and peed behind his back. That's kind of weird. And I was like, did he say what I think he just said? He really did. I think he really said that. And then what was the last thing he said to you when we were walking out? After I paid, he goes, remember my penis. <laughs> Who says that? <laughs> How is that the last thing you said to somebody? Remember my penis. Like, who says that? So creepy. So I what else? I know, right? So what else happened when we were there? Hefty. <laughs> Wait, how did he get the name Hefty? Because he's Hefty. He's just Hefty. <laughs> yeah. We had, we had, like, nicknames for everybody. I can't even go through the nicknames. So... Who else was it that we saw that was like really creepy? Oh, we um, were sitting outside watching the soccer game and this dude came up to us and he said, are you guys from the US? I'll let DeAndre tell it because he tells it good. <laughs> so the dude comes up and asks what country we're from. And we say the US and then he like starts kind of grooving some music in his head and then he just breaks out. IMCA. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even say YMCA. He said IMCA and started doing the dance. We were sitting there like, okay. Like, I haven't heard that song since I was a little kid. I'm going to need him to update his knowledge on the U.S. All right, who else do we see? What bird dude? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so our group had this little call. I will always go, I don't have a voice right now, but I'll always go, cuckoo, like that, so that they knew that it was time for us to kind of start collecting together as a group. And so we were walking at some site, and I was like, cuckoo, and then this boy was like, cuckoo, 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 and he just started doing bird calls. We were like, what is wrong with him? It was crazy. And then what else happened? 
I don't know. I feel like it was so much. I just can't remember it all. <laughs> it was so funny. We were at dinner. Was it last night? Yeah. And we we learned Italian really well, but we didn't really learn Greek as well. So luckily we saw this shirt on the street that had a whole bunch of popular Greek um, sayings. So basically, Alyssa... We like dared them. We were like truth or dare. And we dared them to say, what was it like? Pip? Sagapo. So we dared them to say uh, Sagapo to the waiter. So DeAndre was the one who took up the dare. So DeAndre, he was like real hype with it. Like the waiter came over there and he was like, Sagapo. And the waiter was like, uh, uh, I love you too. It was so <laughs> funny because DeAndre didn't know that's what he was saying to the guy. That was hilarious. Yeah, that was funny. Hmm, what else happened? Al Alyssa and all her tripping. I think Alyssa tripped at every single site we visited. Every single site. Okay, it might not be. It was every place we went. It was. But the thing about it is she, she tripped literally from the time we got there to the time we left. Because when we went to that first hotel, <laughs> I was sitting I was sitting in the lobby all by myself and Alyssa Alyssa and Alexis went upstairs to their room. Next thing I hear is and it sounds like somebody fell down the stairs and I knew it was one of my girls. So I'm sitting there in the middle of the lobby all by myself like laughing and the dude is just sitting there staring at me like I'm an idiot at the desk. It was really funny. Off the rock. <laughs> <laughs> I can see what happened. I just wanted to see. <laughs> that was funny. What about all the Brianisms? Wait, what happened? All the Brianisms. Young Brandon. Brandon K. So our um our tour guide is from Greece and she kind of has a hard time saying <laughs> Certain words, so DeAndre wasn't DeAndre, he was DeAndre. <laughs> so that's his new name, DeAndre. <laughs> and apparently, Brian answers to the name Brandon. No, I don't. Brandon. <laughs> because they were in the room. And did you call him Brian first? No, I said, I said Brandon. I was just like, Brandon. He was like, <laughs> Like, how do you pop up like that to the wrong name? That's hilarious. That's funny. What else interesting happened? I feel... Who? Who is George? See, I never met George. Yeah, Alyssa attracted the weirdest creeps. Every, no, seriously, every time we were with Alyssa, the weirdest guys would come up to us and say the most crazy things. So who is George? Tell, tell George's story. I don't know. He was some random... I think he was... Was he Greek? I think so. He was an unidentified foreign man. He was just walking around. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who he was. He was just walking around, and then he stops. And he's like, Hi. You from Italy? And he pointed to him, and then he said, I was from France. Brazil. Brazil. And he was like, what's your name? So me and Alexis told him my names, and then... He didn't tell him his name. He was like, oh, I'm sleepy. My name is going to sleep. Going to sleep. And the guy couldn't even pronounce the name. So then he takes his hand and goes like this. And it was about a kiss to DeAndre's hand. But it's like Whoa. Yeah, like That's he, creepy. Like, he, like went off course and went back to his hand. Was, That's like, really creepy. He was creepy. for his hand. And then he went right to I his hand. I was paralyzed. And then shocked. me and Alexis thought he was going to do it to us. So we were like this. <laughs> and then he was like, nice to meet you. What's your name? And when we told him he couldn't pronounce it, he acted like it was the most difficult thing in the world. Then he said something in his foreign language. And we didn't know what he was, so when he left, we were all like, what was he speaking? Then we saw him the next morning. So what, what, what about the umbrella guy <laughs> when we were in Rome? Thanks to this one right here. Almost got me locked up for fighting the hustle man because this one has a shopping addiction right there. And every time a hustle man would come up to us trying to buy, trying to sell hats, 
and balls and umbrellas, DeAndre would always stop and talk to them like, how much? So this one guy was like five euros for an umbrella. And DeAndre was like, oh, all I have is two. And then the guy was like, no, five. And then he was like, all I have is two. So they just kept doing that for like forever. So then that's when I got it and I'm like, look, he doesn't have five. So either come down on your price or leave him alone. So then he just kept saying, all right, three, three. And I'm like, you don't get it. He said he only has two. So me and the man are like screaming at each other. He's trying to push past me so he can get to DeAndre. So I have like my arm up and I'm like, I'm like, back up off him, like back up off him. And these chicks are sitting there laughing like it's funny. I really was about to fight the hustle man because he, he would not back up off of him. Like he was really trying to sell that umbrella for three euros. He was like, I'm talking to my friend. I was so mad. Get out of the way, I'm talking to my friend. And I was trying to remember how to how to call him a booger in, in Italian, but I couldn't remember. All right, well, those are just some highlights. I'm sure if we remember something else, we'll, we'll turn the camera back. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> Is she okay? <laughs> Brian, you didn't say much. Oh, I'm tired. Okay. Well, there you go. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It was nice talking to you. She